We begin at 5 with new details on a murder investigation in Woonsocket. Police say the victim was killed by his own daughter. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. It's a story we first brought you last night on 12 News at 10 on Fox Providence. New today, 38-year-old Jennifer Pamula is charged with domestic first-degree murder. Her father, 70-year-old Joseph Pamula, was found dead inside his home on Cato Street in Woonsocket last night. Police say both people lived at the home. Jennifer has not yet been arraigned. Authorities are not yet revealing how her father Joseph was killed. Turning now to another homicide investigation, a dispute in Providence turns deadly. Police say the man who fired his weapon is claiming self-defense after the building's landlord showed up with two others and weapons. There's a lot to unpack here. 12 News reporter Sheena Lushuto who explains more live now from Providence. Well, this is the city's first deadly shooting of the year. And right now, Providence police say they know who pulled the trigger when it came to that fatal shooting. But right now, it's unclear if or what charges that person would face for it. This is a uh, terrible situation. A landlord goes to evict someone, bringing her brother and friend and some weapons. That's what Providence police say is believed to have happened moments before that landlord was fatally shot. And what's done is done, and we can't change that. But uh, you know, we have to uh, we have to investigate it and and get to the absolute truth and the facts of what happened. Major David LePayne says 36-year-old Rufus Watson was the one being evicted, and while this is happening, police say he was inside the third floor apartment with an AR-15. The landlord's group eventually kicks down the door, and that's when police say Watson pulled the trigger. As Mr. You know, Watson would describe it as a uh, self-defense shooting. When police got there, the landlord, identified as Jenny Jensen, was shot and on the floor, she was later pronounced dead. Police have not exactly said what kind of weapons Jensen's group had, but say Watson is the only person who fired. We'll work with the attorney general's office and we'll come out with the right, the right uh, outcome. Watson is facing multiple weapons charges for allegedly having an illegal firearm. As for any charges directly related to the fatal shooting, LePayton says that investigation will continue. We will gather the evidence and do the entire investigation and bring it. Probably it will be brought in front of a grand jury. Now, at this point today, it hasn't even been 30 hours since that fatal shooting, and police are calling this a very active investigation. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News. First, the latest on what Providence police call a, quote, terrible situation that unfolded in Providence's Silver Lake neighborhood yesterday. Police say the woman shot and killed at the building on Prudence Avenue yesterday was the landlord. Tonight, police say they have someone in custody, but he's claiming he fired in self-defense when landlord Jenny Johnson brought an armed group to his door and then kicked it down. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto joins us live from Providence with what she's learned about the investigation. Sheena? Well, the man involved in this case is named Rufus Watson, and right now he's facing several weapons charges. But what charges, if any, will he face linked to that fatal shooting? Police say that's likely up to a grand jury. A dispute about a living situation and people with weapons on both sides of the door. That's what police say eventually turns into a deadly shooting inside of a Prudence Avenue home. Police were called there around 2 o'clock Monday. Uh, upon arrival, we found a female uh, lying in the hallway in front of the third floor apartment. 35-year-old Jenny Jensen has been identified as the victim. She lived on the second floor and was the landlord. Police say the other person involved is 36-year-old Rufus Watson. From what we're getting, Mr. Watson is staying in the third floor apartment, which was rented uh, by his cousin. LePayton says Jensen brings a group and weapons to Watson's door, eventually kicks it down. And police say Watson was waiting on the other side with an AR-15 in his hands. As Mr. You know, Watson would describe it as 
a uh, self-defense. And as for what's next, Providence Police Major David LePayton says they will continue the investigation and it will likely be brought before a grand jury. Meanwhile, Watson faces several weapons charges, including allegedly having a ghost gun and a magazine that can hold more than 10 rounds. And what's done is done, and we can't change that. But. Uh, you know, we have to uh, we have to investigate it and and get to the absolute truth and the facts of what happened. And at this hour, this is still a very much fresh and active investigation. Providence police say they continue working with the attorney general's office. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News.